Uh, my name is Cooper Williams. Um, I'm from Mississippi originally. Uh, I'm an active duty Marine, uh, Chief Warrant Officer. Um, I've been in the Marine Corps for 17 and a half years now. Uh, Williams may not be a Marine for much longer. His story is all too familiar. He had a couple of tours in Iraq in the mid-2000s, followed by a tour in Afghanistan. He remembers being in a convoy when a roadside um, bomb exploded. The whole front right side of the charter bus was blown off. Um, I was the first one there. And, um, you know, at the time, it was like mayhem, people screaming, people crying. Like It was one of several incidents that left him with PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. Williams says he ignored his problems for years as he pursued a career in military intelligence. His wife, Andrea, says she watched him change. Um, things would just set him off. Things that wouldn't normally set somebody off. Um, and then more reclusive, um, started being depressed, not being able to sleep, all those things. Um, and again, life just went on. Violence in his personal life compounded problems that started on the battlefield. His parents died in a murder-suicide. I'll never forget that day. It was, it was December 23rd. It was two days prior to Christmas. It was 2016. His parents were getting a divorce when his father killed his mother, then himself, back in their hometown in Mississippi. To think I took it bad, I feel sad for my brother. My brother took it way worse than I did, and I took it very bad. His personal life was collapsing, but William's career as a Marine was at its height. He was made a warrant officer in the coveted military intelligence field but he was falling apart. The panic attacks became much more severe, like just the impact physiologically, physically, mentally. William started drinking heavily. By 2019, he applied for a transfer to a wounded warrior battalion at Camp Pendleton. He completed treatment for PTSD and alcoholism. It's also where he received two DUIs in less than a month. He says it was drinking combined with a change in medication. I remember waking up and and then, but what I was doing was just blacking out and then just doing things that were uncharacteristic to me. Because of the DUIs, William's 17 plus year career is on the line. The Marines have started the process of involuntarily separating him from the Corps. That means a potential loss of pension, health care, and GI Bill benefits. Why try and rush this? This is the rest of my life. I have five children. I've been in the Marine Corps for almost 18 years now, and you're just going to take everything from me? Thousands of troops with PTSD have been discharged for misconduct. Starting in 2014, the Pentagon began requiring the services to consider how much the wounds of war played a role in the troops' behavior. That reevaluation helps veterans try to upgrade their discharges. That consideration doesn't always extend to active duty troops. Esther Liebenfarth is an attorney with the National Veterans Legal Services Program in Washington, D.C. She says the rules need to change so the military looks more seriously at the wounds of war before kicking out a service member in the first place. We need to stop the problem before it occurs. It's not enough to do it post-discharge. Um, it's too late. The damage has already been done. Meanwhile, Cooper Williams is appealing to the Marine Corps to at least give him an in-person hearing. At the moment, he can only wait. For KPBS News, I'm Steve Walsh.